What's up, Facebook? It's your girl, Tanya Holla Chocolate Mama, coming in here today to talk with you after my very, 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 very exciting weekend. You won't believe it. It was amazing. It was a happy time. So, you know, right now, because it was a happy time. I'm going to do the happy emoji dance. I'm going to do the happy emoji dance. Man, we had a phenomenal, phenomenal happy time. Happy time. So I hope somebody else had a happy time. We had a sunshiny time this weekend. Oh, my gosh. You're not going to believe, people, what happened this weekend. It was amazing. Um, we spent some time this weekend at the Live the Dream event uh, sponsored by MLSP. It was an event for professional network marketers, those who are trying to build their business online. It was fan freaking tastic. And I said that all of this week, I'm going to be coming to you and just dripping some nuggets of different things that were presented and learned this weekend. And today it just happens to be Pajama prospecting time. So guess what, guys? Okay, so let me tell you. Let me just throw it out here for you. What happened this weekend? Phenomenal, phenomenal time. And we were on at the Live the Dream. And me and my crew, my peoples, all of my peoples that with me, thank you very much to the people that went with me to the Live the Dream event. Um, and we were able to do, so I hope you caught it. And in case you didn't, go back and watch the replays of it because we were, we were all there. And on Friday night, we all got to do pajama prospecting, all of us together, prospecting in the hotel. It was phenomenal. It was a really great time. So I want to thank you to all who were there with me and taught, tried to and had to partake. As you can hear, uh, I did a lot of screaming and hollering and, and talking and tick, 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 the whole weekend. So I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be here giving my all and sharing with you guys some of the things that we learned. So like I said before, this entire week and the weeks to come, I will be sharing just tidbits and knowledge and things that we did at the event that's going to make a huge difference in your online business. Give me a second, one second. Have to take a quick little water break. Keep the old pipes. Running smoothly here. So for tonight, we're going to be talking about the three activities. That's one of the main things that we learned when we were there. The three activities you should be doing, the three focus action plans that you should be doing every single day, every single day to build your business. It's very simple. Very simple things that you need to do, okay? So we're just going to get right to them today so that you will know what they are are you ready so before we begin i do want to say the live the dream event is where people come from all over different places all over the city different countries all of the above to come and really learn the tools that you need to grow your business online okay there's certain things that you have to have and have to be able to do to have make to make your business be successful okay so like i said all week long i'm going to be just kind of dropping on you a few of those things that were learned this weekend and some things that are going to help you to progress so if you just stick with me and and stay tuned to the Chocolate Mamas website or the Chocolate Mamas Facebook page. I'll be dropping all the things that you know, need to know to kind of move you forward. Okay, so here we go. So the three activities, okay, three activities, real easy to remember. So I'm going to give you an acronym that you need. Three activities, just three. 
Can you guys see that? Three activities. So if you're wondering, what's my daily mode of operation? There are only three activities you really need to be doing every single day. I'm going to get myself back in the picture here. There go. Three activities that you need to be doing. And they are underneath the acronym of BES. B E S. BES. Okay? So, what are they? First one. First one you're going to build. What are you going to build? You're going to build your audience. Okay, so online, here's the problem. Most most people begin immediately trying to sell to their audience. You begin by posting, putting up a bunch of stuff. You're going to post, 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 post. And you immediately jump into sales mode. That's the first thing you should go after. First activity you should go after is be for, for build, to be, build your audience. That's the number one thing you need to do. Number one, right there, build your audience. That means you need to be doing something to make your page number goes up. The number of people coming, the number of people liking, the number of people visiting, all of the above. You need to build the audience first. Build. Get a pretty large number of people that are tuning in and coming to your website for your content. Whatever your content is that you're doing to try to sell you need to build your audience up, okay? Very plain and simple, okay? The next step, number two, you're going to E, you're going to engage your audience, okay? So once you've worked to build an audience, now you're going to work to engage that audience. That means you need to be keeping that audience. You can engage an audience um, through videos. You can engage an audience through an article or content. You can engage your audience um, through giveaways. You can engage, you just need to engage them. You need to have their attention that you need to, they need to clearly know what you're about, what your product is about. Um, all of the above, engage them. Um, get them going, get them excited about you, get them excited about, you know, what you, what you're doing, teaching them something, engage your audience. Okay. Um, you know, you have a rapport, a back and forth rapport. So again, let's go over the steps. If step number one, which is build your audience, and then you have step number two, which is engage your audience. Build your audience, engage your audience. We got the B and we got the E. Now, let's get the S. What is the S? Do another circle. And this time, it is build, engage, and then finally you're going to sell to your audience. You're going to sell to your audience. Okay? Build, engage, and number three, you're going to sell to your audience. Okay? Very simple. Very simple. The three activities you need to do every day in your business. You need to be building your audience. You need to be engaging your audience. And you need to be selling to your audience. Those are the three action to focus on every day when you're trying to build a successful online business. Here is the mistake. Most people begin posting right away and go right into sale mode when they haven't built a solid audience. They haven't built a target audience. You haven't built it yet, so you're not making the sales that you need to make. So if you don't do them in the correct order, you're going to be all out of whack. Then you have times where you're engaging the audience. You're doing you know, you're doing videos, you're doing um, trainings, you're doing a bunch of stuff on your your website, you're, you're on Facebook, you're on your Facebook page, and you're doing a bunch of stuff, trying to gauge people that's in it, but you haven't built the audience yet. 
the audience hasn't been built yet. So you're engaging nothingness. Okay. Does that make sense? You're engaging people who are not even there. So you need to first build it. Then you sometimes people begin right away with the sale. They're going in for the sale and they're, they're, they're you know, killing and going after all their family and friends. I want to sell you. I want to sell you. I want to sell you. When they haven't bothered to engage their people or build an audience of the right people who want to buy. So I always like to think of things like this. Let's say, for example, I have steaks and I'm selling the steaks and they're grade A, wonderful. Let's say, for example, they're Omaha steaks because they make good steaks. Omaha steaks make delicious steaks. Okay. And we say we're going to give them and we're going to. We're gonna we're gonna give them away for ninety percent off. You can't beat ninety percent off. And you're like, come on, get it, ninety percent, ninety percent, ninety percent off. You can't beat ninety percent off. You gotta you gotta you know you're all out of whack. You're telling them ninety percent off on these steaks, and people are going, no, I don't want them. No, I don't want them. No, I don't want them. And you're going. Why don't you want my steaks? They're 90% off that grade eight. And people are going, no, I don't want them. And you go, okay, fine. Why? Why? Why don't you want my steaks? Why don't you want my grade eight, wonderful, absolutely fantastic steaks? And they go, I'm a vegetarian. And you go, oh. So it doesn't matter how cheap, how inexpensive, how fantastic, how grade A, how wonderful, all your products and services. If you're not, if you don't have the right audience, if you haven't built the right audience around you, the audience that's looking for what you're selling, then when you try to engage them or sell to them, that's going to be off. So these, this is the process. Three activities, the best activities, B-E-S. Build your audience, the right audience, a targeted audience, Okay a very laser targeted artist. So that means you have to sit back and start thinking, hmm, who is the right audience for my services, my product and services? We want to think everybody is it, but everybody is not your target audience. You have a very specific laser target audience. So you have to sit down and think, who is the best people to buy this product right now? Okay, who's the best? Not not that everybody use it, like, you know, something that's about, everybody uses a cell phone. That's not true. Not everybody uses a cell phone. A lot of people use a cell phone, but then there's some people who are more in the market for a cell phone versus others. Who are those people? So you need to start thinking about no matter what your product is. If I set my, my product is a hairbrush, hairbrush, who's the person most likely to want to go out and buy a hairbrush right now it doesn't matter how beautiful all the features the fine brushes that's not the, that's not the most important part of a sale process okay the most important part is finding the audience that needs it right now so maybe somebody who just got their hair done would be a more likely person or somebody who just broke their favorite hairbrush or unless you got a special super hairbrush or something, you, you, you kind of have to have the, the market. Maybe like a hairdresser's or, you know, um, people put in hair, you know, people at the salon. Those are the best people. They're more than likely going to buy regularly hairbrushes. Is that clear? Are y'all getting that? I hope y'all getting that. If y'all getting that, can y'all give me some hearts and thumbs up or something? Let me know. You're understanding what I'm saying and understanding the process that, that this is going through, okay? So build the audience first. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it, okay? So um, build the audience first. Then engage the audience. You know, talk to them. Create a conversation between you and your audience. Reach out to the audience, okay? That means you got to talk to people. Yes, if you're in a business, um, you got to talk to people. No matter what the business, it doesn't really matter. Um, just you, you have to talk to people. You have to engage your audience. 
have a conversation with them. Ask them, is there anything that they would like to know? Anything that you can help them with? Just totally be engaged with your audience. That means back and forth. You tell a little bit, they tell a little bit. They're telling you what they want and need, and you are fulfilling that want and need. You know, kind of like supply and demand. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then finally, again, then you're going to sell to that audience. So to wrap up here, just remember the three activities that you need to focus on every single day to have a successful online business. Three activities, the best activities, build an audience, engage an audience, sell to an audience and watch your sales and your engagement and the amount of people participating just kind of increase every day increase every day so the more you do it the, here's the key part i did say the that you have to do every day every day hey rashida how are you hon zozik zozik hello how are you i'm so glad you guys are on here um, you know, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you keep doing that and you keep following that routine, these are the things that I still do. I go back to this every day. It is the everyday process of doing that, of building your audience, engaging your audience and selling to your audience. And you keep that rotation going. Keep that rotation going. Hello, my dear. Um, so that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Tonight's pajama prospected. Please make sure. Yes, it's right. Every day, best. Okay. Just please make sure that you are staying tuned to the Chocolate Mama page. I'm gonna be, like I said, putting up other really great content of things that happen um, over the week of Live the Dream. It was an awesome, awesome time there, and um, I'm gonna be really sharing some some detailed stuff, some secret stuff behind the scenes stuff of how to get your page more engagement. So I know the first part of this was build an audience. So stick with me, come back with me. I'm gonna be on tomorrow, drop in another Facebook Live on tomorrow to show you how, how to get more likes, how to get more people on your pages, how to get people totally um, that's really what you want, who you're looking for, and how to find how to find your exact, attract your exact target market to you, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, if you're seeing this on replay, feel free to leave me some comments. I'll be happy to respond to them when I get them. If you have any questions, um, then drop those in there. Happy to be able to uh, ask those questions for you. Um, I always want to engage my audience and be here for you and help you to be the best you you could possibly be and get great value out of this stuff. So thanks a bunch, people. I hope, thank you very much for staying on. Hope you're having a happy day, sunshiny day. Okay. And I love you guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you staying on with me, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. All right. Bye-bye.